Willard Scott is one of the most delightful people in all of television, a lighthearted weatherman. You may also be surprised to learn that he's a gourmet, never met a food he didn't like. Well, he's also a promo king. He has all, all kinds of promotions. And now he's going to tell us about a new project of his called the Peel It Off Florida Grapefruit Diet, which is going to go on during the month of January. And he joins us via satellite from New York. Willard Scott, where are you, good friend? Are you Listen, there, I'm sir? I'm in New York City, and I'm so glad to see you again, Tom, because you know, I sort of take pride and joy in the fact that you're one of my prodigies. I've, I've made you what you are today. You certainly have. Now, if I can find you amidst all those grapefruits, dear friend, what are you telling, what are we peeling off exactly, sir, in January? Well, you know, I have a very nice job. I, two jobs that I've had in my life that I'm really proud of. I was selected through a strange process to be the radio spokesman for NASA, for the space program back in 1959, and I did that for 22 years. I was a staff announcer then. I cupped my ear and did serious things. But I love the association. And about a year ago, a fellow called from down in Orlando and said, you know, we think we would like to have you be the spokesperson for the Florida citrus industry. Well, I don't want to bore you to death with that. But, you know, aside from the fact that it's a nice way to make a living, and I don't want to try to be too goody two-shoes, it's a dollar, but it is a marvelous association. I love it. The people down there in the Indian River country in Florida that grow this citrus, I think are among the finest people in the world. They're dedicated. They've got uh, the greatest citrus products in the world. And now we've come up Congress, I think, a year ago, so some gimmick. They said we're going to vote January as a peel it off month. You know, after Christmas, everybody in Thanksgiving, ga they gain so much weight and, and eat and drink too much. And you're going to so lead us in that, huh, Willard? And I, yeah, they say a little child shall show them the way. <laughs> well, you know what? I had planned, quite, quite honestly, about two months ago, I went to the doctor, and the obvious was revealed to me through the doctor. He says, you're too fat. I weigh about 280 pounds, and I had planned to lose about 50 pounds. The late Nathan Pretty could help get me on a diet program about five years ago. And I hesitate to say that we're selling a diet here. What we're trying to do is get people started. We're sort of priming the pump to get them to start to lose weight in a sensible way, including yours truly. And I promise, and when I make a promise, you know, I'm a weatherman, we never lie, but I'm, I'm going to lose 50 pounds in the next year. I'm not going to kill myself. If I lose a pound a week, I'll be very happy about that. Well, we, we've got your jams and jellies in our outer lobby right now, Willard, because we know that you're promoting that too. Uh, listen, I've got, a, I've got a cookbook out now, and the whole cookbook is, is devoted and dedicated to desserts. I'm a dessertaholic. I knocked off a $600 dessert last night here in New York. I'm not going to give up sweets. I'm not going to give up fried pork chops, and I'm not going to give up country ham and grits and gravy. I don't plan to do that. What I'm going to do is cut back. And one of the best things you can do is to knock off the booze. I like to drink. I make no bones about that. You have talked I, about that publicly, sir. I don't lie down in the gutter with pigs, and I've never been, uh, thank God, I've never had a problem with it. But I do enjoy my drinks. But you know that you can cut down an, an alcohol alone, and uh, probably, in my case, where I'd have one, two or three drinks a night, I could, if I just stopped drinking five nights a week or four nights a week, I could probably knock off 40 pounds in a year without even fooling with the food. But the combination of the two, you know, just using a good, sensible diet. And I don't want to talk you to death on the subject, but we always say, of course, the first thing we want to do, and I do, and everybody else recommends, you see your doctor first to make sure this will work. But this, this is a neat little program, and it's, it's a gimmick. You know darn well any of these diets are a gimmick, but at least it is a start. You've got to start somewhere. And this little program helps you get started in January after all the Christmas season. And we like to say that not only does this stuff taste good, but it's good for you. It's loaded with vitamin C, and I just spilled some juice on my pants. <laughs> And it also, Dr. Ruth would love it because there are all sorts of strange powers in grapefruit that Dr. Ruth would promote. Just a second, Dr. Scott. Let me get a question in here. It's my, fe <laughs> <laughs> it's my feeling, sir, that while you do a remarkable job on the Today Show, and in many people's eyes, you're the reason people turn that show on, I see you in a sitcom, Mr. Scott. I see you, I see you being a, a, a whole new identity for you. Would you like it, Willard? I'd love it. I, as I, I've said to you a minute ago, I've produced more pilots than Eastern Airlines, and none of them have made it <laughs> on the air yet. But I, I've, uh, I got a nice call a couple of weeks ago from some people out, out in California about just that, doing a sitcom. Maybe that's the way for me to go. But I, I'd love to do that, Tom. I really would. I, it's not because I'm not unha or unhappy with the Today Show. I'll work the Today. It's like an annuity, the Today Show. I'd work that until the end of the world. But you, you have to grow. You cannot stay in the same thing. You know that, Tom. Sure. Anybody in television, in the entertainment business, you have to have some new act all the time. I said that uh, somebody the other day says, you know, how about Johnny Carson? Well, he's a great exception, but how many Johnny Carsons are there? You know, most people on TV last two or three seasons, and that's it. 
So I, I've always looked towards the future, but I'd love a sitcom. Let me ask you one concluding question. What's the best thing you've ever done as a father? Christmas season around the corner. Willard Scott is a father of two daughters, if I'm not mistaken. What's the best thing you ever did as a father? You mean in general or in one particular incident? Well, either one. Take it either way. What's the well, best thing? I believe in that honest to goodness openness and love, and we've had that. To this day, our older daughter's 25, the younger one's 21. There is nothing we can't talk about. There's always been an open line. They've seen their daddy make mistakes. I've seen both of them make mistakes. But we truly, honestly love each other 150,000%, and there's nothing we can't discuss and talk about. And there's nothing in the world, and they know it, that they, if they ever did anything in this world, there's nothing they could do that would ever cause me not to love them. They got support. That's the most important thing you can give anybody. Willard Scott beautifully said, I'll tell you one thing, besides your two daughters and your wife, there are millions of people in this country that really love you, and I'm one of them. Thanks a million, Willard. Tom, thank you, and Happy New Year. And a Happy New Year to you.